Hello everyone. On this demonstration, I will be demonstrating on how to create a small application on the Avenger system. I will be using Java as my programming language for this demonstration. But as you know, you can use .NET or PHP or any other programming language you prefer. I will be using Interjectia as my IDE. You can use NetBeans, Eclipse or any other IDE you prefer or Visual Studio if you are on a .NET framework. To begin off with, I registered myself on abzone.lk and downloaded all the sample clients and the developer guide and the APIs which they provide. Now I'm going to create a small, I'm going to start up a new project and I'm going to call this, okay it's taking a bit of time, okay I'm going, create, I'm going to create a project from scratch and I'm going to call this, let's say demo app and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a way and I'm going to make this a web application now, this is really important because we will be sending and receiving messages through HTTP after I make this a web application the project will be created and now what I need to do is I need to attach the APIs which was provided on appzone.lk site to do that, in IntelliJ IDEA, I just need to attach the libraries to the module or even the same on NetBeans, Eclipse and so on and so forth. If I go and this is the link I, which I just downloaded, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach it to my project. Now after attaching, now there is nothing within my source directory and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with receiving SMSs from a mobile phone. I'm going to make this class something message receiver. I'm going to name it message receiver. What I do is I'm going to extend mchoice aventura mo servlet. This will this is one of the APIs which they provided and I had to implement one of the methods called on message. Now, what happens here is all messages are which are sent from a mobile phone to your application will be will come within this method. So any logic or anything you want to put in, you have to write within this. So if I just put a S out and say message received. And I now I can print the message whichever sent by the mobile phone. If I say get message, and this would be the message. If I put another S out, say mobile number, this would again be possible for me to get through the M27 SMS message. This is get address. Now I have the message which the person sent my application. Now what I can do is I need to send back a response to the mobile number which sent the message. Now for this I can use a mchoice aventura sms send. The send class is a API which can send sms to a mobile phone. If you can see here it needs a URL for the server and a unique application ID and a password for your application. So if I take a new URL, this will be something like this, HTTP. Now for this, I'll be demonstrating this sending and receiving part using um, Aventura simulator. For this, the simulator starts on 0.0.1 .0 port 65182 slash service. Now, and the unique application ID for my applica uh, application. For this, my application ID for this demonstration, I'll have it as app ID and the password as password. Now, I need to wrap this using a try catch block because this is an exception will be thrown if, the, if there's any error on the URL which I just given here. And now I can just use the SMS sender and say call the send, me send message method and send whatever message I want to back to the mobile phone, something like message 
received thank you and now i just specify the mobile number again i can take it from the i'm sure sms message and say get address this will get give me the address of the person who sent the message to and this would be the message i will be sending back to him now this is all you need to start the system now if i go inside the web dynf that's web xml inside web xml i need to direct all messages that's coming to my application to the class i just wrote to do this i had to make this a servlet class so if i make this a servlet and i had to give a servlet name so let's say receiver and now I can say a servlet class and I can give the class which I just wrote. Now on the servlet mapping I will need to specify which messages to send to my application. For this what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make all messages that comes to my application to send it to the class which I just wrote. Now this is all you need to start up the system. To proceed forward, you will need an application server. This application server could either be Tomcat or Glassfish or any application server you prefer. For this demonstration, I'll be using Tomcat as my application server. Now that you have created your application, now it's time to test it with the Azure Simulator. To do the testing, I have already started the Azure Simulator. Now what I need to do is I have to make a WAR file because this is a web application. For this, I'm going to use IntelliJ IDEA, the make command. So when I make the make command, it should use the create the WAR file. Now the same way you can use it on NetBeans or Eclipse or in Visual Studio to create the files you need. When I create the WAR file, in IntelliJ you can see a demo app folder. Now what I do need to do is, in my Tomcat I need to copy this and in my Tomcat I need to paste this inside my web apps folder. Now when I paste it on my web apps folder, now this module will be started when Tomcat server starts. To start the Tomcat server, again I'm going to go into command prompt, I'm going to go into the directory and I'm going to start the server. So if I use the run command and now my Tomcat server is started. It will take a couple of seconds before it could start. Okay, now my system is started. Now because I already have the Aventura simulator running, I will just skip into how to send the message. Now for example, if I use 123456 as the mobile phone which the message was sent from and this MOURL. This MOURL is the URL for your application. For example, my application is hosted on 8080, so on my local machine that is 127.0.0.1.8080 and we named the application as demo app. So demo app with a backslash and I'm going to send a message saying hi this is a test message now when I say the submit message you could see a more message sent successfully if I go into the Tomcat you can see the message has been received if you can see this message received hi this is a test message and from the mobile number one two three four five six and this is the two S outs I just added here. And now the message is been sent back to the Aventura simulator using these two lines. To see if those are working properly, on the status code and the status message, you will see something like this. Status message is success, meaning the message has been sent back to the Aventura simulator. Now if you see here, this is the message we actually sent up, and this is the response that we received. Now, now if you want to send some more messages, for example, from some other number, say let's say note 72, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So he's sending 
just a hi test message. So if I submit here, you will see that the message was received. Hi test message, mobile number not seven two one two three four five six seven eight. Again, we have sent the response back to the simulator, and you can see the message here saying success. Now this is how you can simulate sending and receiving messages from your application to the Aventure system. Now, in case you want to put up some more logic here, any logic could be written within this message. Now, for example, I'm going to say receive message received, thank you, and I'm going to put the current date. So I'm just going to call the new date new date class of Java, and I'm going to just send the date as well. Say I can say system dot current time in milliseconds. So now it will say thank you message received with the current date. Now same way if you have any database connections to be established you can establish this within this method or you can create another class and call that class within this method. This is how you send and receive messages using Aventura simulator. And the same way would be applied when you're sending and receiving messages on the real Aventura system. Thank you.